Good day everyone. Today, I will share with you in how these transmitter echo signal animation works in this system. Let's take a look once again. When the pump is on, the water goes up and fills the tank. And then the water level will gradually rise. At the top of the tank, there is a level transmitter that continues measuring and monitors the water level. This animation represents a transmitter echo signal bouncing off the surface of the water and returning to the sensor. I used at least 50 basic lines to create this kind of animation. Basic lines object is available in the toolbox. The animation of these object lines and changes in colors depend on the current value of the tank level percentage. Let's copy this echo signal lines and let's see how it works. I grouped these lines together, let me ungroup first these echo signal lines so that we can see each line's parameter setting. Let's simulate the HMI screen once again. Now, let's observe how these object lines changes in colors. Lines colors depend on the current value of the tank level percentage. When the tank level is 0 to 10%, these lines flash with white and red colors. The white color will be invisible to the tank because the background is the same. The red color indicates that the tank is empty level. When the level increases, the color of the lines changes. The bottom line's color has changed to sky blue, matches the color of the water in the tank. When the tank level is 11 to 30 percent, these lines flash with white and orange colors. The orange color indicates that the tank is low level. When the tank level is 31 to 80 percent, these lines flash with white and aqua colors. The aqua color indicates that the tank is medium level. When the tank level is 81% or greater, these lines flash with white and blue colors. The blue color indicates that the tank is full. These echo signal lines has individual parameter setting. Let's take a look at some of the settings. Let's attach one single line object in the working area. Change the width to make it more visible. Replace the default color from black to sky blue. If you notice, sky blue is the color of the water here. These lines will turn sky blue when it reaches the water level. Let's put display animation for this object. Click this to add new animation to appearance. And then select the correct appearance tag for this object. This tag was created or established in the global data block. You can attach this tag directly if you want to. Just click it here, and then drag and drop. The tag you attach will automatically go to the default tag table. If you want to organize your HMI tag, then you have to create or add new tag table. Next, select the type of appearance for this animation. Click add new to add new range value. Change the default range. I want to appear this animation within 0% to 1%. Choose the right background color and object color for this animation. If you want this line object flashing, then select yes, or choose no if not. Every object line has the same appearance tag and type. 
except the range value and color of the objects. I will show you an example. Let's start here. The appearance tag and type of this object line is the same, except the range value. This object appearance tag and type is also the same, except the range in colors. Let's check the other object lines. This object, the tag, and type is also same, except the range in colors. Every object lines has unique range in colors. These Excel table are the setting of this echo signal lines from top to bottom. Let's compare this table here. The first column is the appearance tag with the standard DB block address. Appearance tag from top to bottom is the same. High level, medium level, low level, and empty level. The second column is the object lines. We have a total of 50 line object. The next four columns are the animation appearance. How this animation works. I will only choose a few objects here. Let's start from the bottom. In this object line, the animation appear when the level percentage is 0 to 5%. Flashing is confirmed within this range. The color of this line object flashes red and white color. If this object line is outside this range, the object line will appear sky blue, match the color of our water in the tank. Let's choose another line object. What about this one? Each line object, you can set more range or multiple range like this. The first range means, the animation appear when the level is 0 to 10%. Orange is the color of this object line within this range, because flashing this object was disabled here. The next range means, the animation appear when the level is 11 to 17%. Flashing is enabled within this range. The color of this line object flashes orange and white color. Outside this range, the object line will appear sky blue, match the color of our water. What about this one? These object line was also set with multiple ranges. The animation appear within this range from 0 to 30%. The color remain aqua color because flashing was disabled here. The next range means, the animation appear when the level is 31 to 51%. Flashing is enabled within this range. The color of this line object flashes aqua and white color. Outside this range, the object line will appear sky blue. And this is how the sensor echo signal works in this animation. Hoping you learn something new today. Thank you for watching.